accomplishment. Um, it was it's just perfect. Um, and the scenery behind us is awesome. You know, couldn't have a better set. Um, it's my pleasure to stand with you and celebrate this rehabilitation. Uh, today we are preserving the past and forging the future. Um, what we have done is marry old-fashioned ingenuity with the modern engineering to create a functional bridge that is now more safe and secure. The bridge is special, not just because it's the gateway to Bayshore Boulevard, but also because of its history. Um, it was originally built in 1926 by the Strauss Bascule Bridge Company. That is the same bridge company that built the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. And over the years, it has been renovated, but never torn down and rebuilt into a contemporary bridge. As you know, there's been more, um, I think, attention given to bridges and safety and make sure that you know, we don't have any unforeseen mishap like what has happened in other states. Therefore, uh, it still has many of its original features. As you can see, it has the tender houses, it has the drawbridge, the decorative elements. In fact, it was granted a historic designation in the year 2006. But over the years, the bridge has aged dramatically. Um, you know, being built in 1926, you know, we've had all these storms and just the, the water damage from the water slapping up against the bridge. It was need, in need of very significant uh, rehabilitation to bring it up to the current requirements and replace many of its mechanical parts. Public safety is the top priority. As you know, we have over 35,000 cars that go across this bridge every single day. and. You know, now with uh, the developments of Channel Side, the completion of Riverwalk, there's going to be even more traffic going over this bridge, and safety is going to be even more of a concern over the next years. So it was a top priority, and we wanted to make sure that this busy bridge could stand up to uh, the wear and tear uh, of the commuters driving over it every day. So we had, they had public meetings, they had a lot of input from various groups. In fact, I'm going to recognize somebody uh, soon who was a big proponent of getting this bridge rehabilitated. And it was decided that we would not tear down the bridge um, and replace it, but we would rehabilitate it instead. In fact, it was so beloved in the community, we decided to take the opportunity to return it to its historical appearance. So now today after years of planning, design, construction, it is completely rehabilitated and returned to its former glory. In fact, our public works department, along with the project design and architect firms, recently received, and the award is over here, an award of excellence from the Planning Commission's Community Design Awards for this restoration project. And that is a significant uh, accomplishment to be recognized for that. Um, so I want to thank our Public Works Department um, for all the work that they've done. I know Steve Williams is here uh, with Lucia Garces, who is our Deputy County Administrator. And I want to thank you for really being the leadership on this, um, you know, from the county aspect. Uh, to get this project done. But I think first and foremost, we have to thank our local residents, um, our business owners. As you can see, we have many business owners in the area and community partners for their cooperation. This bridge was shut down. And believe me, it was inconvenient. And I know Councilman Cohen and I put our heads together with the city and county uh, leaders on this project. And believe me, if we had not collaborated well on that project, we would have, it could have been not disastrous, but very inconvenient and a lot of turmoil for many of the residents and, and the business owners. So we really got the word out quick and really didn't have much of a uh, problem, you know, getting uh, people to kind of reroute themselves over the period of time. So I just want to thank everybody, um, you know, for their patience during this effort, um, especially the business owners. I know they were uh, adversely affected by this, and I really do want to thank them. And of course, the city of Tampa 
um, my counterpart, Councilman Cohen. It just was a great partnership. And if we hadn't worked together on this, like I said before, um, we would not, uh, number one, we wouldn't have gotten this done ahead of schedule. And we wouldn't have had the, um, I guess, the lack of um, negative press <laughs> on on the uh, whole situation. So I'd like to really thank the city of Tampa for their role. I know Tom is here and Dennis, thank you very much for everything you've done on this. Uh, the county and the city collaborated on this starting many years ago. Um, and we did have the special committee and it was the key to making it uh, really go smoothly and, and having a lot of success in it. Um, I'd also like to uh, thank the Florida Department of Transportation. I don't know if they're here today. Oh yes, yeah. thank you so much. Of course, they helped us get a federal grant um, in the amount of 2.4 million to really help us with the um, make this project possible. Um, and as far as the funding is concerned, um, the community investment tax uh, paid for the rest of this project. It was 11.4 million dollars. So it was a very good investment, not just from a preservation standpoint, but from a safety, public safety uh, standpoint. So we're proud to do the work of the people today. And I think that's what we're celebrating, that there was a huge benefit for the community. Um, I would like to recognize an individual, uh, before I recognize Commissioner Beckner, to say a few words, because he's here too.